Hi everybody, how are you all doing today? I hope everyone is well. Um, I'm doing several videos from home because I had a cat who had surgery, so he's doing good. Uh, it's been about, um, I don't know, six days now, so, but I can't leave him for too long, so that soon I will be able to, but right now, no. Anyway, <laughs> that's life, isn't it? And also, I couldn't go to Hawaii either on vacation. I had to cancel it. So to, so I'm here in town making videos. So I hope you enjoy these. Anyway, this today I wanted to do a video just to talk about some of the mystical things that um, can happen when you do energy healing. So, so you can have this done, but also... Um, being an energy healer to just be open to um, be open to experiences um, and see what happens I think um, I think that's the best way to do it um, I know some people who do energy healing are very locked into a system and that's okay it makes them feel better that they're locked into that system I am much more of a free flow kind of person and um, at this point I do a lot of my own thing although I do I also do Marielle I do Reiki but most of the time I just do my own thing because that's what I like um, but if somebody wants I just want a Reiki session we'll do a Reiki session or I just want Marielle but there's always other things that come into play that's that's life and that's uh, when working with the mystical and doing energy healing that is uh, there is mystical qualities to it it's uh, working with energy something that you usually can't see so anyway I just wanted to share what can happen in an energy healing session and, and if you want to do energy healing or are an energy healer you might have had some similar experiences and um, because it's part of what it is. Anyway, so I wanted to share a couple of stories that I think are really, really interesting. And I do have some of this written in my blog, but people don't read very much these days, so I wanted to share it on a video. So the first experience I want to share is um, I was doing an energy healing on a session, and this was a remote session. And it was in the evening, and I was sitting in a dark room and tuning into this woman. Now she had been through a very traumatic experience where her husband died in a motorcycle accident. Um, and I believe it was the day before Thanksgiving or something, the night before Thanksgiving. And she, um, it just, it messed her up. And she, and it took many, many years, I think this was seven years later that uh, she, wanted an energy healing session anyway so what happened was that uh, so I tune in and she was just laying down I wasn't speaking to her I um, we had made arrangements that she's just gonna lay down at this specific time and I was gonna tune in and start doing an energy healing session that's not typical I usually have someone on the phone with me or zoom but you know if you do it um, live on camera I will set the camera down so I'm not paying attention to a picture on a screen because um, it's distracting and gets in the way anyway so I tune in and I call in my guides I call in source connect with source call in guides call in her guides uh, my usual anyway within the first few minutes of this session getting just after getting started I see in her field I see a ghostly image of her coming back into her body like and just like walking in very ghostly looking and come in and come into her body now what this was is the fragmented part of her that left her body when this trauma happened came back into her body it was pretty profound um, 
I've only seen that very well very few times that's uh, anyway so I spent the next little while just doing other things but pretty much within the first few minutes what was supposed to happen in that session happened which was she is supposed to get that soul fragmentation piece back into her body so that she can function on a better level in this reality um, anyway pretty profound healing and to be honest I didn't do it I did not do that that was set up by her higher self or her soul and uh, her guides they're really I was just there helping facilitate it and open that space up for healing um, that was a beautiful beautiful thing okay another session um, just another kind of interesting session this was in person and this was a beautiful young woman probably 27 or so and and I usually do healings in kind of a darkened room uh, softly lit and I was walking around the table just walking around and there was something going on in her energy field that I couldn't quite figure out and it felt very very toxic to me and it was almost as if she'd been poisoned but it wasn't fully in her field uh, but it was around her around her field like so it wasn't in her actual mm, it wasn't affecting her physically le yet let's say that um, but it was all throughout hers but it, I could tell that it didn't belong to her but it was in her field and it was really in her field and a lot of it and so I finally said something I just said you know there's this energy that's in your field that does not belong to you but it's there and it's pretty significant and I said mm, it feels like poison it feels like poison and she without hesitation said oh that's my mother the moment that she said oh that's my mother there was this kind of ghostly white misty figure actually lift out of her body and it looked like a person like in the it was shaped like a person like a woman that rose up out of her body like full body from feet to head lift up about 12 inches off of her body and went poof and disappeared now what is that um, that was a very toxic relationship that she had with her mother now I don't know what happened after that but that energy was gone and she felt it and saw it I felt it and saw it and it lifted up out of her body so it goes to show if you have toxic relationships in your life they affect you and at some point they just get further and further in so hopefully if you do that you can do something about that to um, to clear it out so that it so that you have a clearer life and so you can manage and do your own life without that in, that negative influence because that was incredibly negative influence and she was very well aware of her mother's influence and I didn't get anything else about it I didn't get why or why she had that specific type of relationship with her mother or any of those things I just saw okay that's that was pretty remarkable also and again I didn't do anything I just recognized the situation and spoke about it so she was ready to let that go obviously and somehow her higher self her soul uh, God source whatever you want to call it that was set up to assist her in, in t for healing to assist her to heal that and move it out of her system so that she can move on with her life so it was just the right moment and recognition of the thing and sometimes when it comes to healing it's about recognition it's about recognizing the issue and um, putting attention on it and giving it the space to move that's healing and that's that is spontaneous healing that's true spontaneous healing if you believe in that sort of thing <laughs> but you are talking to a energy healer so 
anyway, just another thing. And then also one other story that I wanted to share was that I was working on this woman again in my space. This was um, uh, somebody who was there on my table, and it was a woman who was very clairvoyant herself. She uh, has a lot of gifts. And um, again, so I'm, I'm working on her, and I'm walking around, and there's something going on in her head, her third eye, and you know, if you're a clairvoyant, you want that open. You definitely want that open. And so what I saw, I started seeing a past life. And in this past life, she was a, a seer, S-E-E-R, seer, or a uh, oracle, and she did a psychic work for somebody of great power. I did not see the whole scenario, but what I did see was that she gave a wrong prediction to this person of power. So it was, uh, if I remember correctly, a king or, hmm, you know, somebody uh, who wielded great power in that area that she lived. She gave the wrong prediction. And with that wrong prediction, it ended her life, you know, an off with your head type of scenario. Um, I didn't see how she died though. But I knew that's it ended her life, giving the wrong prediction. And so what I saw from, and it came from that lifetime, was almost, there was an actual shard of energy about that big that was in her third eye. So she was still very clairvoyant and very psychic, but uh, this was an obstruction in there, an energetic obstruction. But again, so the minute I recognized that and saw that, and I was telling her what I was seeing, I saw guides walk in the room, like these mm, beings who are, um, I don't know, I guess you could say look ghost-like, uh, <laughs> in a sense. I mean, these kind of uh, cloudy, mystical-looking beings come into the room. There's three of them, if I remember correctly. They surrounded her, and one of them put their hands over her third eye and pulled it out. Boop, pulled it out just like that anyway another really cool story um, she felt that and she uh, this is a really interesting experience so you just never know what's going to happen and you have to be open and just kind of go with it and expect anything expect anything and be open and be open as you possibly can be um, and also part of doing energy healing or any kind of psychic work for that matter is let go of any expectation. And so what I mean by that is let go of what you think is gonna happen. Let go of what you believe can happen. Let go of anything that you know about them. Just put it all over here. Let go of your ego. Let, because <laughs> the ego wants to get in the way all the time. Put that over here too. Just go, okay, you're going over there because you're getting in the way. Um, let go of your fear of what's that you're not going to be able to do it that that's a big one um and just tune in and be open call in your guides your teachers source um uh and ask for assistance it can be that simple um it's good to have a few techniques too though uh, anyway, so one more little story, and this wasn't even uh, a healing session. What this was, was I was doing a little, um, I was working at a uh, fundraiser for this little spiritualist church that I used to go to. Um, a cute little place. I used to do a lot of uh, um, assistance with fundraising for, you know, helping them on days they do a fundraising event and do readings or healings or whatever. Anyway, so I was doing an Akashic Record uh, readings that day, and there was just supposed to be like 10 minute readings. I mean, nothing profound or big, just let's sit down and we'll just tune in and start giving information. Okay, so this woman had just recently had COVID. And so when she came in and sat down and we started talking and her sense, she was talking about her sense of smell had not returned yet, and or her sense of taste, and it it really really was bothering her, and um, all of a sudden it was like okay, 
I could feel this energy coming in. And I said, okay, just a minute, because healing is coming in. And I had no idea what was going to happen, what anything, but I just said, okay, there's some healing that wants to happen, so I'm just going to take a step back and let that occur, which happens every once in a while. Anyway, so this energy, you could feel this energy come in, and she could feel it too, and it just it went through her. And I didn't know what the energy was doing or what kind of healing she was receiving. But, uh, and it only lasted maybe three minutes or something. Yeah, that's a guess. Uh, but, um, and then we went on to do the rest of her reading, which was really cool and fun. Anyway, so what I found out 24 hours later, because a friend had sent her in, a friend that, um, a friend of hers that I also know sent her in to come and get a healing from me, but they didn't even, she didn't know that I wasn't doing healing. She just said, oh, sign up with Lorena. So, uh, so what I found out 24 hours later from our mutual friend was that within 24 hours, her sense of hear, her sense of smell came back and her sense of taste came back. So a healing came in unbidden it just happened which is beautiful every once in a while things like that happen unbidden healing came in but her intention at that moment was to have a healing and that's why she came in there and she got it so that's pretty cool too anyway I just want to share those stories um, just because it's quite interesting and it's going into the land of the mystical what you know when you go into these states of greater awareness or uh, higher levels of consciousness, things like this can happen. Um, and so it's great to, again, and I'll say this over and over and over again, if you want to experience or do things like this, meditate, <laughs> do breath work, um, let go of all expectations and be open be open to um, amazing things happening. It's like, a, and I've said this before again, Richard Bartlett, let yourself be open. Um, create a space for wiggle room where things can come in because all you need is just that teeny bit of space for something to shift and change. So you don't have to open up all the way. It's great if you can, but even if you just open a little bit and create a space for something to come in, and change it can be that simple so meditate breathe dance paint have fun um, and be open be open to bringing new things into your life bring healing into your life it can happen anyway because I've seen it I have seen miracles anyway I think that's it for today have a wonderful wonderful uh, week and um, I'll see you soon all right bye-bye